our involvement in the project was the construction of a drainage system for their main oval and then irrigating that oval and irrigating 18 other fields. The drainage on the main oval is a series of over three kilometres of drains cut into the sub-base. Which led into uh, the main storage tank. The major challenges uh, of the project for us were the hardness of the ground that we actually had to work in and put our drains into and just the logistics of irrigating and water recycling to such a large area. Because there's so many fields being irrigated here, the on-site storage has to be fairly large to be able to continue on watering the fields in an efficient manner. We've also got on our tennis court facilities a 250,000 litre tank which water off the tennis courts, drains into that, which then is pumped back to our school dam for then irrigating back around to the school grounds. Irrigation is undertaken mostly over night time as it is the most efficient time and to use the water there's less evaporation and less possibility of the water being blown away by the wind. The quality of the water is very good. Uh, in fact it's, it's not potable but it's more than suitable for growing turf. The system itself is very maintenance free. You might get the occasional sprinkler head that might need fixing and sometimes the traps in our filter systems need cleaning but other than that it's pretty self-sufficient. And it certainly has, quite apart from it being, I think, environmentally responsible, there's a good educational benefit to it as well. We used it as a medium to teach about responsible management of the world's resources. Well, the community are delighted that the quality of the playing surfaces has been vastly improved. Certainly the boys enjoy it. The grounds have become a lot more suitable for the sports. The grounds before were very hard and quite difficult to play on but now that we have our own watering system we, we don't really get injured as much anymore. We have found there to be a decline in the number of bone breakages and insurance claims are related to uh, injuries brought on by hard surfaces and we're delighted by that. When we have hard rain, other schools haven't been able to continue with the cricket fixtures or the rugby fixtures, and our school's been able to continue that due to the irrigation system that we've acquired. There are plans to expand the project to further fields as the fields are developed and for better use of the recycled water. We're also going to be exploring other things such as sewage mining, dual flush toilets and efficient shower heads, which will then be part of our water harvesting as well.